I'm Pastor Salem. want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we have a sermon today you're going to just love. And it's the resurrection of Lazarus. Jesus raising Lazarus and so many wonderful lessons from it. So call your friends, tell them to tune us in. And I, you won't be dis disappointed because it's all about the power of Jesus. Well, we're reading from John chapter 11. And this story starts... We have a Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, a brother and two sisters, and they live in Bethany. And uh, Jesus visited there often. Well, now Jesus is off a ways ministering, and Lazarus dies. And uh, so they send word, and he's been, and four days later, Jesus comes, and this is what we read. Verse 32, verse 32. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit, and he was troubled, and he said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? And Jesus therefore again groaning in himself cometh to the grave. He wa it was a grave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away ye the stone. Martha, <coughs> the, sister of <coughs> the sister of him that was dead, <coughs> saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldst believe, thou wouldst see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. <clears throat> and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me. And because of the people which stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his feet was bound about with a napkin, face bound with a napkin. Jesus saith unto him, Loose him, let him go. We're going to pray today, and we're praying for our per the persecuted church in Saudi Arabia. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful story of Lazarus, showing that you have all power, and you're going to raise up the dead at that last day, all who believe in you and trust in you. And then, Lord, there comes a day when those who refuse you and have spit in your face and have no part of you, they will be raised also. All the only it will be for eternal da damnation. And, oh, God, we are praying that those people will turn, call on the name of the Lord, and be saved. We just thank you as we read this story that we have many lessons that strengthen us and give us hope and faith. And, Lord, we are so thankful for the, our persecuted church in Saudi Arabia. Lord, we just know that some of them are worshiping with us on shortwave radio right now. Because our short wave, we go into every area in the world where the church is being persecuted. And so they're worshiping with us, and we love them, and we pray for them, and we're going to see them in heaven, and they're going to wear a martyr's crown, and that's something we won't have. But they will wear that crown and be, oh, God, we just pray for them and the children and, and just to help them to know that they are encouragement to us, and they give us strength also. So now in our service today, Lord, may we see Jesus and may multitudes find help and strength and comfort and other multitudes come to Jesus. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.